Hello, hello. Welcome back to Common Sense Crypto Channel. Where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals who use common sense. All right. So today's video is Theta Guardian Node Troubleshooting. I'm making this video because I myself have had some issues with my Theta Guardian node and syncing. My, I was up and running, I lost power, and then it would not sync again. So I've tried all of these steps, except for one, um, the blank UI after deleting the database. That's the only one I haven't tried, but I put it in here in case someone else had that issue or has that issue. And I've, I've tried, tried to compile everything that I've found and used to put into one place so people can go to one area, find maybe something that's uh, something that works to troubleshoot it, fix it, get it syncing back in again. So if there's anything that I have not listed here that would that you've tried that would help, please leave it in the comments below the link or the steps so I can put it all together because I really think it's important to have this information in one area so people aren't searching all over the place for it. So let's begin. Okay, first is changing your performance tier. Okay, this is not the right picture. So you would go and click on info and in the drop down it's gonna say performance tier. You would click on that and then change it from, it's probably at platinum, change it to standard. Your node should rest follow the steps, your node should restart again, and that could help. If your node doesn't restart after doing that, close the node, click on file, close your node. I would restart your computer and then open your node again. That's step number one, that could possibly work. The higher the tier, the slower sometimes it syncs with the rest of the theta network. Okay, next, this is back from 2020, I got this information. It is deleting your database and the snapshot manually. Okay, so close your Guardian Node app, go to the folder, see uh, users, username, app data, roaming, Theta Guardian Node, Theta GN, configs, mainnet, and here you should see snapshot, and your DB directory. So manu manually delete the snapshot and the DB directory under this folder. Important note, be careful not to delete the key directory and the config.yaml file. After you do manually delete these, I would restart your computer and then restart your Guardian node app and this definitely could work. Next is deleting your database from the actual node itself. This takes you through step-by-step -step the instructions. Okay, so you have your node open. Click on node and then delete node database. Again, you follow the instructions that come on the screen next and your node should restart. If it does not, then close your node, go on to um, Go to file, close node, restart your computer, and then open up your Theta Guardian node again, and it should resync itself, okay? Next is, this is after you've deleted the database. If you have a blank Guardian node UI after the database deletion, follow these steps. This is one thing that I have not done, but I thought it was important to put it in in case someone has this issue as well. The link for this is below in the comments or in my description of my video. Click on it and it'll take you exactly to this page where this is. So you download the snapshot manually, rename the file to snapshot and place it under users, your username, app data, roaming, data guardian node, data GN, configs, and mainnet. For Windows users, your username equals change to your username accordingly and then run your Guardian node and let it sync. Again, 
I, after doing these steps, I would restart your computer and then open up your Guardian node again. Moving your Guardian node to a new PC. Okay, so before you do anything, copy your Theta Guardian node key, key store file, and save it to a USB. This is the most important thing that you I would say have to do. If you do not have your key store file when moving it, you are not gonna be moving your Theta Guardian node anywhere. So take your key store file, copy and save it to a USB. Where you find your Guardian node key store file is under C users, your username, app data, roaming, Theta Guardian node, Theta GN, configs, mainnet, key, encrypted, and then your Theta Guardian node key store file will be there. Copy that, save it to USB, and then you can take the rest of these steps to move your Theta Guardian node. Okay, for Mac users, it's under users, your username, library, application support, Theta Guardian node, Theta GN, configs, mainnet, key, encrypted. So after you've downloaded the, new, the node to the new computer, you're gonna go in, you're gonna delete the new key store file that's in there, in, these lo in this location, and paste your old key store file in that spot. After you've done that, restart your computer and then start up your Guardian node, and it should be the original node that is staked to it. For Edge node users, you can restake the T fuel in the new node you made. Special note here if you get this message when you try to launch this new node that you've set up on a new computer, it says node failed to launch, fatal failed to load or create key, could not decrypt key with given password. That means that you've changed when, when you uploaded the Theta Guardian app to your new computer. That means you change the password when it asks you to fill a password out. That means you put a new password in uh, different from your old Theta Guardian node. You need to keep the passwords the same. I found this out through my own experience set of doing this. So you need to keep the password the same. So make sure you know the password to your Theta Guardian node that you're trying to move or you will get this message. Lastly, what I have is Delete, deleting Theta Guardian node from current computer to reinstall it. This is what worked for me to get my Theta Guardian node back up syncing and running again. So again, first copy your Theta Guardian node key, key store file and save it on a USB. You should have this saved on somewhere on a USB anyways in case anything ever happens to your hardware, to anything to your computer, it blows up, it burns, you need to have this saved so you can always put it into a new computer, move it, and um, have your own keys to it. So you go into your computer, you delete the Theta application from your computer, which is for Windows, it's under Windows, setting apps in the Theta Guardian Note app, delete it. For Mac users, I'm not sure exactly the steps to get to your apps, I don't have a Mac. For Mac and Windows users, you then need to delete the Theta Guardian node subfolder. Okay, because if you keep that subfolder there, when you upload, when you install the new node application, it's gonna take the same path and it's gonna do the same syncing issues. So you go into your computer, this is for Windows again. You go to this PC, local to C, users, username, app data, roaming, Theta Guardian node folder, delete that folder and then follow the instructions for moving your Theta Guardian node to a new computer. It's the same steps, okay? You would install the Theta Guardian node app again. You would go find the key, delete the new key, and paste your key from your original node into this new and the new key uh, is where the new key was located. Delete the new key, put your old key in, and then close that, 
restart your computer and then start the Theta Guardian node. Again, note here, if you get this as you try to start it, that means you changed the password when you were when you installed the new Theta Guardian node, when it asks you for the password, you need to put the same password in. I can't stress that enough. You need to know your old password to your original Guardian node in order to upload it, reinstall it, or put it into a new computer. If you don't know it, then my advice to you is to unstake your Theta from the node, unstake it from your wallet, and then restake it to a new node. And that's all I got. I hope this helps. I really hope this helps people out there, anybody, because I know, again, I've had my own issues with trying to get it to resync. It took me, it took me a couple of days to get this to go and work. I went through all the steps. Even when I uninstalled the Theta Guardian node on my computer and reinstalled a new one, I made sure I changed the performance tier as well because that is going to help it be able to sync quicker. So if you guys have anything that you've tried and that's worked or you've found that someone else suggested for you to try, you could leave it in the comments below, either a link to the page or the actual directions. I would really appreciate it because I'm trying to just compile all this information into one place so when people do have issues there's they just have to go to one spot to find this information because I know it's kind of difficult to find this information all over the place I know for me it took me a while just to find things I had to just keep on looking and searching so I think it would be helpful to everybody if it was in one place one spot and we can get all of our nodes up and syncing so I am a crypto consultant. I can help you with this problem if you're having issues and you're not sure how to do this. My link is in the description below. There's a link there for a free 15 minute consultation. If you click on that, fill out the form, I'll get in touch with you and we can go over this or whatever other crypto needs that you might have. And I hope this helps, I really do, because like I said, it's great to have, I think, all the information in one area and spot. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.